everybody and welcome to this new bit of a career mode that I'm going to be doing and it is going to be on the World Cup game and it is my uh, road to the World Cup basically and it's going to be with Gabon and the reason I chose Gabon over anyone else was you know they have a strong, a strong squad in my opinion not it's got a good foundation to build on, I think. You know, they've got um, obviously they've got a Bamiyang and they've got a Bamiyang's brother, and it's a strong squad to build on. But let me know also if you want me to leave the EA Sports radio on. Basically, if you're not aware of what that is, uh, they talk over, they basically guide you through the tournament. Uh, it's, it's basically like a real radio station, but obviously I'm going to be talking over it, so. It's not really going to work, but I'll put it on quietly in the background and let me know in future if you want me to leave it on or not. As you can see there, we, as Gabon, have never qualified for the World Cup and we are 81st in the world rankings. So it is going to be a big uphill battle, but it's doable. And as you can see there, our group, it's definitely doable. And I'm not sure what the to be decided Uh person will be not person what male about country uh, I'm not I don't know how African qualifying works so let me know in the comments below if you have any knowledge of that sort of thing but I don't know but it, it it's a doable group by the looks of things you know we certainly not got the hardest group but you know you can always get these surprises in international games so and we don't actually get to the qualifiers qualifiers for quite a few months because we have got quite a few friendlies coming up but like I was saying before we have got a great squad to build off and we I will show you the squad in just one second but I do want to get us playing some nice passing football but I know what it's going to be like it's going to be hoofed over and the Bamiyang runs onto it I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but we'll try and work on it but as you can see there we, we got Brazil in our first game in a friendly and oh my days why Brazil? I mean, oh god. But this is the squad, and I'll let you know what my sign line is going to be in a sec. Okay, guys. So this is the squad I've decided to go for. As you can see, we are playing the 4-4-2 formation. I thought I'd keep it simple like that. But for one thing, I did notice is we have got some quite decent pace in the squad, and that should be, you know, good going into things. We can play that sort of style of football with that bit of flair. And um, one one other thing I also noticed was. The squad is pretty young. Uh, there's not too many old players in this starting lineup. It's a pretty young squad like this guy. He looks absolutely fantastic. And look how young he is, 17. So it's, it should be quite fun, you know. You could say they're a bit inexperienced, but I think I think it should be a good a good challenge. But uh, this guy looks really good. He looks like a great goal finisher. Definitely going to be using him. And obviously, to go alongside the Bamiyang, it should be, you know, a great partner partnership for going up front there we have a Bamiyang and he's oh it would top it off if he had four star skill moves but hey you can't have everything and here's the bench that I decided to go for and there's Willy Bamiyang who's actually the other Bamiyang's brother I'm not sure I need to think of a nickname for him because it's just going to get confusing when I say like a Bamiyang scored and you're going to be like which a Bamiyang um because I was going to say I'm just going to keep calling him Abamyang's brother, but then he's called Abamyang and everything just gets complicated. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have any nicknames for me. I might just, I'll call him Willy from now on, actually. Right, so we got Willy on the bench, and these are the rest of the reserves. And we got we have got quite a big squad, but let's get into the first match, which is against Brazil now. So we are now getting into our first international friendly with the squad. And I must say, I quite like the uh, home kit we've got. It looks... It actually looks very similar to the Brazil home kit, as you can see there. It, it does look very similar. There are quite a few similarities, but it is going to be a tough game. I'm not going to lie. You know, first game and it's this. Oh, God. But uh, just to clarify, I oh, yeah, I'm not going to be playing on beginner. I'm going to be playing on professional and five minutes each way for now. And I'm going to see how that goes. If it's too easy or too hard, then I'll switch it around. But it is a new game and all that. And I'll go sort out the squad now. I think I'll just play with this. It looks like a pretty strong squad. So let's get into the match now. Whew. Come on, boys. First game. Let's go. Here we go, lads. This is the start of an adventure. When we are in the World Cup final, people will look back at this game and think, wow, that squad showed so much potential back then. And I honestly think we can get somewhere with this. But 
<sighs> first game against Brazil. <sighs> it's going to be hard. Uh, the stadium's looking nice as well. It's not the biggest, but I like the background scenery and all that. And we've got a loyal following, I think. So it should be fun. But this is the starting 11 I decided to go with. So uh, we went with just my default squad. This is my strongest squad from now on. Um, as of now, even. It, you know, things probably will change now and then. But for now, that's the squad I'm going to go for. And oh, God, here comes their team. My word. Uh, I don't even know where to start with that team. Just every player's a threat. I mean... <laughs> I don't know where to start with that team, it's just insane, but the graphics on this game are looking very nice, I must say, and if you've got the game, let me know in the comments below what you think of it, but let's let's get straight into this. So we get the first chance here, with a great ball into the middle, bit of a dummy header, and then it falls to Aubameyang, who can't get his shot off. So Brazil at this point were dominating in play and I managed to snatch it back there and you know it's just we I just want to pass it round but it's really difficult playing against this Brazil side to pass. Then we had some even more nice play playing it around the back so nice little ticky tacker football wasn't as fluent as I would have liked it but you know we are it is my first game, but then Marcelo sn snatches it off. But that is a poor kick from Victor Valdez. Aubameyang manages to pick up the pieces. Then he loses the ball, but wins it straight back again and takes a shimmy. And oh, that is a penalty to Gabon. Absolute penalty. Julio Cesar just ripped Aubameyang off the floor. Definite penalty and definite yellow card. It wasn't a red. He wasn't heading towards goal. But oh. Big chance here, and I was thinking about giving it to Aubameyang, but I decided to give it to the captain instead. Uh, is it Cullison or something like that? And then, watch this. He's missed. No, he's not. I was. I followed that up then and everything because I was so sure that he'd missed that then. But oh, the shot was just too powerful for Cesar. And what's the cameraman doing here? He's filming some freaking birds or something. Is he high or something? But um. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, he should have saved that, but nevertheless, a fantastic penalty and 1-0. That is the dream start. Then here, we were still trying to play that dominating fashion, but then we give it away, and that was a recurring theme throughout this match. We were just that final pass, pass we were just misplacing, which was really frustrating. And then Brazil, you can't allow them any space on the ball. And then that was just a shocking Oh, shocking pa pass from the keeper and then oh Hulk manages to level it for them right on the break as well we were so close to going into the break with a lead but oh does a little dance just rubs it in even more that was really annoying and what's the cameraman doing again he's is he high or something he's filming birds there but this is oh to be fair it was a really good shot well hit well struck and oh the keeper couldn't have saved that, but it was his fault with the with the kick before. It was absolutely dreadful. But 1-1 going into the break, you know, it could be worse. That's how things stand so far. It could be worse. We've not got long left now, so it's just a second ticking away. We were seeing if we could get anywhere. We were just going straight forward. Play the ball over to Aubameyang. Can he get on the end of it? He can. Can he find anyone in the box? Maybe. Oh, he's dispossessed. Oh, it's so hard to break down this Brazil defence and then they'll pass it out from the back and then that is half time. Going in at half time is 1 1 is not bad at all though. So the boys were now out for the second half and oh, they started off strong by passing it around but we were the underdogs in this match so that just gave us that bit of confidence to go on and maybe win this match. But Brazil looked up for it in this second half. Oscar with the ball here plays it into William. William, fantastic little dribble and plays the ball into Jonas and he should have snatched that up. He might be ruining that opportunity missed by the end of the match but that should have been a goal. I'd expect my player to score that every day of the week and that is a really poor miss. But then Brazil gave me the hammer blow. Look at this pass. Oh, what is my defending doing? And then Hulk again. Oh no. It was, to be fair to him, it was a fantastic chip, 74th minute, and oh, our hopes and dreams about winning this match were just dashing away, but what a ball that was, and oh, that little cheeky chip over the keeper, you know, could he have done better, possibly, sort of shrunk into the ground as that ball just glided over his head, possibly he could have done better, but oh, oh well, we can still do it. So then, what I decided to do, I thought, you know what, 
why not? We need to go for this match. So I decided to bring on little Willie. Well, older Willie, actually. He's older than the other Abamayanka. Should have thought about that before I said it. But we're bringing on Willie just to get a bit of flair and pace into the team. And we're bringing on this guy as well. In the final minutes were just ticking away. And I tried to get the ball up to Willie, but he couldn't get on the end of it. Then Brazil were just going to hold on to the ball. And uh, they just... Uh, and then the full time whistle went, and guys, we have lost our first game in charge of Gabon. And to be fair, Brazil, you could argue, are the best team in the world, internationally, of course. And to only get beat by one goal, when really we could have won, I think that's progress. And we gave it our all, you know. Possibly you could say Bamiang should have had one or two, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blame it on him. I think the boys gave it their all, and, you know, a few defensive errors, stuff that we can tweak, but we played some nice passing football at times. You know, possibly we could have done better when we were giving it away, but um, as far as the game goes, I was I quite like it. The game plays nice. It's nice and slick and smooth. It's not, you know, as clunky as FIFA on current gen was previously. So, yeah, I like it. It's nice and smooth, and, oh, here's some of the chances, and, oh, a Bamiang miss cost us dear guys it cost us dear but um we are coming towards the end of this episode now guys and i'm sorry that i'm only bringing you one bit one game in this but it's because it's been the first episode so in the next one i'll bring you two games which will also probably be friendlies and maybe even a training session as well so thank you very much for watching guys the next one will probably out be out in three or four days because it takes me a while to edit them but uh yeah check out all the links in the description down below and i will see you all in the next one